Hey, it's some old guy coding again, and today uh, I've had a viewer say that uh, he's having trouble, some trouble importing from Fusion to um, uh, ESTL Cam and getting the right set of units uh, scaling wrong. So I just wanted to try it myself here. Uh, let's take a look at the preferences here first, and we'll go down to the uh, default units uh, for design is millimeter, for cam is millimeter, and simulation I don't think we really care. So let's go ahead and cancel that out, and let's uh, just draw something. Let's go ahead and draw a rectangle, and we'll use the bottom plane there. And I'm going to start at zero, and we'll go out here, and let's say, um, let's make it 100, 100, nice square. And that's it. So there's the um, square, 100 uh, millimeters on the side. And we're going to save that as um, scale test, just like that. Somewhere in here, there will be uh, that showing up. There, scale test right there. So it's uploading. Now, I don't know of a good way to. Uh, you know, get it out of the system here. Let's see if we export. Um, <clears throat> I don't think any of these formats are accepted by ESTL Cam. I've tried that before. Um, so we're just going to let it go to the cloud. And then what it seems we have to do, we have to log into, um, is it A360? Let's go A360 home here. And then if you haven't created an account out here, you probably had to create an account when you um, uh, downloaded. But if you haven't, um, if, once you have, go ahead and log in. All right, looks like scale test is uploaded. Now let's go back to that web page. There it is. I just saw it go by. Where is it? There it is. All right, so we're going to take this guy and we're going to download it as... Uh, um, right here, that's the button I want to press. Download is a... Uh, as a uh, DXF, because I know that uh, ESTL Cam accepts a DXF. And what happens is it sends it to you in a uh, email. Give it a moment. And uh, it was set in millimeters up there, so I'm assuming it's going to come down in millimeters. Let's find out what happens here. All right, so there's our square, but uh, you know, how big is it? So the way I used to figure out is I go to uh, grid and I set these to uh, 100, 100 and set it. And obviously this thing did not import at that size. So let's load it up again. So maybe some of you other users up there can tell me what I'm doing wrong here. We're gonna this time I'm gonna say centimeters. And now it seems to load properly. So it's 100 by 100. We know it's a, uh, that's what it is. And we should be able to go out and uh, save that as a CNC program. Whoops, nothing there yet. Let's go ahead and engrave that. There we go. And we're going to use uh, that guy right there. And. Uh, Depth, we have to answer something. I always put it at its minimum because I'm going to use a laser on this and I don't want it to move the laser. The other thing I want to do because we're using a laser, I want to make sure that in setup here, under basic settings, I want to make sure that my clearance plane is set to zero so it doesn't move my laser around in uh, the Z axis after we're done uh, cutting. So let's go ahead and export this now. Right, we'll see. We're ready to uh, engrave that uh, scale test down here with the laser. So I've got a piece of waste board here. We'll get this guy powered up and get the laser focused. All right, let's find the spot here. There would be good. Doesn't look too bad. We'll start right there in the corner. And the way we go with the scale test.
So, I'm seeing that this is uh, sure looks spot on to me at uh, at 100 uh, millimeters across. And let's check the height. Yep, and it's uh, 100 vertically too. So I guess I was hoping to find something magic here that would help uh, help out one of my viewers to figure out why he's getting a different size when he uh, cuts on his CNC machine. But uh, we'll post this and maybe this will break some ideas loose or something. I don't know. Uh, sorry I couldn't uh, come to the conclusion on what would cause that for you at this time. Uh, thanks for watching though.